Old Rock counting in a precarious position. Hey Jeff, there's a question about the sideburns. What was it? Whether or not I should keep them or not. Can you give us a side profile? No, no, you gotta take the hat off, dude. Yeah. We can't see. Just turn your head to the side. Okay, question to the internet. Does he keep the does he keep the Elvis chops or not? There they are. What you got? Let's have a look. Ooh. Very nice. Dude. Whoa. Kind of glassy some of them. Could this be another rock hound or a critic? Let's have a look. The dog person. You're going to be on YouTube either way, buddy. Hey, uh, we saw your car, pu car pulling up here and I thought it was got cop actually from a distance. You're, a, you're one of the YouTubing guys? Yeah, I'm, I'm a follower of you, Caver. Hey, great. Good to meet you. You going to join us at Grace Lake later? I hope to. I hope to. We'll, we'll see how much of Tanzanite Hill enthuses me. <laughs> Good to meet you, man. So this is the really one of the cool things about uh, doing the YouTube stuff is that you meet so many people when you're actually out rock hunting that you actually meet on, on YouTube as well. Um, and it's really good to hook up with people because you share a lot of information. I just, you know, it's exchange a bit of information here. Learn quite a bit about some of the, the sites, in particular just talking about the, the 620 Garnet, uh, Highway 620 Garnet uh, exposure. That was pretty cool. I got a feeling I found a little tourmaline here. Like I'm looking at the end. Oh no, it's not. No, it's a hexagonal, not a trigonal shape. But just the most incredibly beautiful color and clarity on it. I'd like it to be known on YouTube right now. I am leasing part of that, of my claim. This is my claim. I am leasing it to Jeff. So whatever he finds, I got first dibs on it. I'm letting him keep 10% of his discoveries if I don't want them. Is that a deal, buddy? Nope. What do you mean, no? You're right next to my spot. You're digging in the hole and I'm digging on the rock. Oh, come this on, dude. Scam. Just be fortunate I'm letting you dig near my, my, my claim. Another nice one. They're all quite small in this kind of depression here, but we've decided we're just going to clear off the top. We're going to skip the idea of the claim uh, in part because he's muscling me here. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to clear all the dirt off the top, all the black soil, until we hit yellow. Then we're just going to kind of dig with rakes. There's a slightly bigger one. Uh, it's prism. Just beautiful. Really loving this tremolite, man. It's actually a... It's a bit like an asbestos in a way, like it can metamorphose into asbestos. It has the spines, but of course in this form it's safe. Um, in the form we're finding, but... Um, you know, metamorphing to asbestos, asbestos, it's not so good. So obviously, depending where you look, dictates what you find here at Grace Lake. Um, I've been following along this kind of scene here. At the bottom of this, you can find it to the left if you stand on the road and look, look up at the, uh, at the Grace Lake uh, hillside. Um, I'm following along in the seam in the yellow dirt and, and within the yellow dirt right close up against the rock I'm finding for every shovelful it's giving me a prism a perfectly formed beautiful green prism very transparent sadly my camera is not of the quality that will show you that but um, still help help to see it just a little bit better but I'm gonna just keep on following along the base here and seeing what it uh, gives me in terms of these little tiny beautiful tremolite prisms. You will probably recall from one of my previous Grace Lake videos that I had mentioned that um, Chris Fouts, I believe it was, a uh, very well-known um, Bancroft geologist and local expert, uh, had said that uh, the best, the best uh, crystals are found at the contact between the silicate, mm -hmm. like the quartz, the silica and the, the quartz, and the carbonate being the um, Calcite, that was it, between the silicate, silica and, the, and the, the carbonates or the calcite, right on that intersection is where you're going to find the, uh, the very best crystals in this area. So mm, I'm finding, you know, I'm finding mixtures of quartz, sorry, bugs are just insane here. Probably see them like, going down my back, down the back of my pants, it's terrible. But um, 
Yeah, that's where you're going to find the uh, the crystals in this area. And my seam is, is yielding some quartz. My seam is yielding, uh, you know, a little bit of um, calcite and, of course, the lovely small prism. There are seams running through this rock. Seams that are just packed with the, uh, with the tremolite crystals, but people have been chipping away at them. Yeah. Just, you're not going to get them out without breaking them. Guys, what's up, guys? <laughs> um, that's Grace Lake right now. Real important, I'm, as I'm looking at the uh, camera here, there's a, there's a horse fly right on top of the thing. Um, don't forget, don't forget your bug, bug spray. It's pretty intense back there with the mosquitoes and what have you, and soon to be the black flies. Um, we're just beat, you know. Uh, run out of water. I think we're going to head into Wilberforce, get a little something to eat, and uh, assess the afternoon. Uh, I think we have a plan also to hit up a nearby Adit at uh, the Rare Earth Mine number 2. See what we can see there. So there's a turtle stop. I like to get him off the road so he doesn't... Come on, come on, let's go. You want to touch him with your... Come on, dude. Off the road. This way. Ooh. That's the kind of thing that give you a nasty bite. Just kind of cruising around, me and Jeff. We're trying to try some old kind of tracks here to see if we can find something interesting like an old mine, you know, or something like that. It's pretty seldom that these tracks exist for any reason other than mineral extraction in this area. Sometimes a railway, an old railway. Whoa! 